Ready to learn more about the cake business from Homeside Hustle? Let's get started. Baking delicious cakes and decorating them with creative flair is a side hustle that is sure to have you spending lots of spare time experimenting in the kitchen with recipes and various flavor combinations. Anybody can bake a cake from a box mix, but it takes a person who enjoys baking cakes from scratch to create a successful cake baking business at home. People spend money on specialty cakes because they want a cake that they cannot create themselves. Making specialty cakes is more than just combining a bunch of ingredients, you need to understand how certain ingredients interact with each other and you are going to need a creative mind to come up with inventive ways to decorate your cakes. If baking is something you love doing, and you've been told that your baked treats are awesome, turning your hobby into a money-earning business is a winning idea. However, you don't have to have prior baking experience to start this business, just a willingness to roll up your sleeves, get into the kitchen and learn as much as you can about cake baking through trial and error. Before you start your business, you may want to bake a bunch of cakes for family and friends and get their feedback. This is a good way to develop your winning cake recipes for future clients. The decorating part is going to be more challenging so you are also going to need to practice your cake decorating skills a lot. As time goes on, you'll get better at decorating but for now, stick to decorations that you know you can do confidently. Snap some photos of your best cake designs and put them in a designated file. These photos can be used for advertising your business in the near future. Once you are confident about your cake baking and decorating skills, you are ready to begin the process of setting up your business. Step 1. Check cottage food laws for your state. Many states have laws about what you can and cannot make in a home kitchen. In order for your business to be legal, you must know what is allowed. For instance, your state may allow you to bake cakes at home but not make homemade buttercream. If this is the case, you need to purchase ready-made buttercream for your cakes. The state usually provides information about labeling requirements as well. Print a copy of your state's requirements and keep it handy for reference. Remember, these laws are there to protect your customers from getting sick and your business from lawsuits. Step 2. Find a commercial or commissary kitchen. If your state forbids you to bake cakes at home, you are going to need to rent kitchen space. Commercial kitchens can be rented for an hourly rate that ranges between $15 an hour and $30 an hour on average. If you only plan to use a kitchen occasionally, a commissary kitchen is a cost-effective option. Typically, you can rent kitchen space on an ongoing basis or for a single use. These kitchens vary from each other in size and amenities. Keep in mind that the cost of the kitchen rental is a business expense, and it should be a factor in calculating your costs and pricing. Step 3. Create your cake menu. Starting out, you should keep things simple. For example, you can offer a yellow cake, a chocolate cake, a white cake and two specialty cake flavors. This could be lemon, cherry, strawberry, carrot, red velvet or other favorites. As time goes on, and you get more comfortable with delivering successful cakes, you can gradually expand your flavor menu. Step 4. Come up with a pricing structure for your cakes. Here is where you decide how much to charge for your cakes. Professional cake bakers and caterers charge per serving, according to cake size. Cake professionals use the Wilton Cake Chart as a handy reference guide. Cake serving price ranges between $2 per serving and $10 per serving. If you are going to charge at the higher end, be sure you can justify the cost of the cake to customers who may be looking at lower cost options. Step 5. Set policies for your cake business and stick to them. Creating rules to follow can help you avoid frustration and hassles. The following are suggested policies. Ask for a 50% non-refundable deposit for all orders after the customer agrees to the design. Put this in your contract and on your website. Wait until the non-refundable deposit is in your bank account before blocking out time to make the cake. Collect the remainder of the payment before the event or at pickup or delivery. No full payment means no cake. Also, put this in the contract. Let the client know in the contract the last day they can request any changes to the design. 
You may also want to stipulate a specific number of changes. The contract should also have a clause that states you are not responsible for the cake the moment it leaves your hands. This protects your business from being blamed for any damage to the cake that happens after you're done with it. Go over the contract with your client and make sure they sign it and that it also has your signature. Tip. Refrain from sending in-progress photos and messages to your client. When they see what you are doing, they may decide to ask for changes, which adds more time and effort to the order. Let them see your artistry after it's completed. This information can be used anytime you're ready to start a successful side hustle. If you want more information like this, hit the like button, turn on the notification bell and subscribe to our channel.